Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Adriana and if you're not new here, thank you so much for clicking on another video. Before we get started with today's video though, I want to take the time to thank you guys so, so much. It might not be a big deal to some people, but to me, every subscriber counts. And um, with the last two videos that I've posted, I literally gained like 30 subscribers. And like I said, to me, that's a huge deal. To grow a channel, it is so hard. And I get discouraged easily and I stop making videos. I said that in one of my other videos that, you know, I go MIA forever. But honestly, like seeing those numbers, like just motivates me to keep going. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I mean it. It means so much to me. So yeah, it kind of motivates me to keep it pushing, keep going, and keep posting for you guys. So yeah, for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys some hairstyles that I've been doing on my girls for the first day, not for the first week of school, sorry. Um, that's personally one of the reasons why I love my girls being in school because that's the only way they let me do their hair over the summer they don't even want to take a shower they don't want to do their hair like they are hot they are a hot mess during the summer so coming back to school to me it's like i love to see my girls cute obviously you know so seeing them all dressed up with their hair done and stuff like i live for that so um i figured i would record those for you guys and yeah if you guys want to see some cute hairstyles then just keep on watching and if you really enjoy this make sure to give this a thumbs up and maybe we can keep doing like a part two or something i can be doing different hairstyles on them so yeah guys if you want to see that then go ahead and just keep on watching and thank you guys so so much again all right guys so for this first hairstyle just to put it out there i don't know the names of any hairstyles or what they're technically called i just know what me and the girls refer to them as and for us this is the bubbles hairstyle if they say bubbles i know what they mean by that so for this hairstyle you can do a full ponytail or half ponytails it really doesn't matter you can still pull it off but for us this particular day i did like half of a, of the front of the head just to sections of it in the front so that's what I started off with just parting it down the middle and then doing two small ponytails up in the front so once we have those two ponytails ready to go I kind of just like to smooth it out as I go down with a little bit more hair gel and we're going to use little hair ties and little elastic bands to just kind of um, wrap them around the hair with some spacing in between each of them all the way down to the bottom of the hair so each little gap in between the elastics is what's gonna form those little bubbles so I went ahead and did that to both sides and once we are done with that the next step is gonna be to sort of just tug around onto the those little spacings to give it more of that little like bubbly shape so it's not so flat And this is the final look here, super cute and girly. And once you get practice, it won't take so long at all. Okay, so for the second hairstyle, it is some French braids. I do have a full more descriptive video on them that I will link down below for you guys. But basically, I always like to section off like a little triangle shape up at the front. And you're just gonna do a regular braid, but just incorporate a bit of hair, a strand of hair from each side as you go along. So you do that to work yourself, work your way all the way down and then just continue your braid as normal. The only difference is I, I, I incorporate the strand of hair and tuck it under the braid and doing so the braid will appear on top like this because if you do it the other way where you put the strand over your braid, the braid will be tucked into the hair and it won't be so visible. I don't know if that makes sense any sense at all but i'm trying to describe this the best that i can for you guys 
all right so now for the third hairstyle this is honestly one of the favorite hairstyles for my little one she is always requesting for me to do her hair like this so basically what I do it's just gonna be two little buns and again you could do um, like two buns with like the whole hair up no hair down at all but she's always requesting two buns with hair down so what I basically do is just part it down the middle and make her two ponytails up at the front and all you're gonna do is just twist 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 and wind around the the um, ponytail until it starts forming a little bun and just set it off with an elastic and you're good to go for me personally it's easier to just twist a little bit and wind it up as I go instead of twisting the entire long strand and then working from there but it's up to you guys however it's easier I just like to do it this way instead this fourth hairstyle is super simple to do I just parted the hair down the middle and did three braids on each side with a little spacing in between each of them honestly this hairstyle would look so much cuter if you had the time to curl the hair but we are always rushing out the door in the morning so we don't have time for all of that extra stuff so I just did like I said the three braids on each side and you can you know switch it up a little bit the day after this I actually did this hairstyle on my oldest she requested for me to do her hair like this but I ended up doing only two braids on each side and they were kind of thicker braids so they they looked very cute too they were more noticeable than these but just braid them on each side and it turns out super cute and easy so this fifth and last hairstyle might be a bit of a challenge to explain to you guys as if i haven't had a hard time doing so with the other ones but for this one it's a good alternative if you have a hard time doing french braids but this one i just sectioned off the hair into two big sections i parted it all the way down the middle and from there i do pretty thick um sections of the hair i'm going to do three first to start working it but honestly this hairstyle looks so much cuter if you have the time and are able to do thinner sections it will look so much cuter but it is more time consuming so i did bigger chunks of it so i'm doing three big sections like i said to start off this is going to be the third one here and then from there what you do is that first section you're going to kind of split it in half and work it around that second section pass it on over to the third one so you're skipping one you're gonna tie it together with the next one so you skip one and tie it into the next one and then we're going to go ahead and make another section and then from there that second one that we have which became the first one we're going to split that one in half and tie it off with this one i know it makes no sense <laughs> i'm trying guys just watch the video i should just shut up on let you guys watch it <laughs> so yeah basically my explaining sucks <laughs> but you're just splitting it down the middle skipping one and tying it on to the next one if that makes it any easier if watching it is more helpful then just go ahead and do that but this is the last section that i was doing here so i'm gonna do the same thing split it in half skip one and tie it on to that one and then since this, this is the last one i just went ahead and tied the whole hair together as well to finish it off and i braided the rest of the ponytail so it kind of looks like a french braid but it's not really braided up on the top that's it super cute thank you guys so much for watching that's it for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one